thanks for staying with us here on Market Watch. Well, Business Sense has just been taken to a whole new level. Customer experience consultant to Equal Strategy is using the sense of smell and hearing as a selling tool. It recently introduced a scent technology in Singapore and Malaysia, which the company hopes will motivate customers to spend more in a shop. Well, our next guest says retail players in Asia have been slow to consider the sentient aspects of the brand experience. Simon Fourfield is CEO of Equal Strategy and he joins us with his bag of smells right here in our studio. Great to have you with us, Simon. Good morning. You know, this is a new technology to Asia, but it has been around for a little while, hasn't it, in the US and Europe. And I want to ask you, do you have any statistics to prove that this combination of smell and music put together actually makes someone want to buy more? Oh, definitely. There's been research carried out over the last decade into consumer behavioural patterns, and they found that by stimulating the uh, the senses for, for with sound and also with the smell, mm -hmm. is a great way to actually engage people within the, the customer environment, and uh, they perform in a in the right way. They spend more time in the shops. They spend more money and also it creates an environment that they like to go to. So that helps to stimulate customer loyalty. Mm -hmm. So if I'm not wrong, what you're doing here is you're pumping out a smell at the same time as music via uh, an atomizer in the, in the air con system. But this is a chemical smell, isn't it? So for example, you go to coffee bean, it's not actually the smell, the real smell of roasting coffee beans. It's a chemical smell, is that right? It's artificially created. And um, the, w the way this works is that we, we have a system where the fragrance is converted into a dry vapour, is atomised and then it's actually pumped into the air conditioning system in the premises. So this enables them to control and direct the fragrance to different areas to create the right sort of mood and atmosphere. Mm. I mean, it's, 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 it's quite clear what kind of smells you would use, say, for a bakery, a chocolate shop or a coffee shop, etc. But some of your clients include places like Changi Airport, and I'm really interested to know how do you create or how do you know what exactly is the right music and the right smell to put together for somewhere like an airport or a car sales room? Well, um, first we'd like to look at the brand. Mm -hmm. We need to understand how the brand is actually pos positioning itself and how customers want to experience within that area. So we're talking to Changi at the moment as well as other different retailers and Mercedes-Benz is also a client and they're using our music systems and they find that the idea of using fragrance scene allows them to engage their customers with that environment, make it more impactful. But first we need to go back to the brand, understand the brand and how it wants to position itself and then select the right sort of fragrances. So for example, Changi Airport, yeah. you may say that Singapore has the national flower of the orchid. An mm -hmm. idea there could be to create an orchid based fragrance that when people got off the plane, the first thing they would experience in Singapore would be Singapore's national flower. Ah, very good idea, yeah, okay. So first of all, Singapore and Malaysia, where next? If it's successful in these two countries, where would you go after that? We're, we're gonna go after the north part of Asia. Um, we're, we're an Asia-focused business, and that's really where we want to be looking. So, mm -hmm. you know, Singapore, Malaysia are domestic markets at the moment, but following that would be China, Hong Kong and so forth and Equal Strategy is the only company in Asia who provides music and fragrance to work in synergy together to stimulate the senses in Asia. Okay, well why don't you show me what you've got here. Certainly. Let's give it a go. Now, why don't you okay, guess what so this one smells of? Okay. Then we'll have a look at that. Lemon? Grass. Lemongrass. So what kind of uh, retailer would you use lemongrass for? Well, this is part of a global trend where retailers are looking for a very fresh, revitalizing um, fragrance. Mm -hmm. And you can even use fragrances to stimulate and control the behavior of your consumer. So for example, what you could do if you had a, a retail outlet where they had a low throughput of customers and they wanted customers to spend more time in that outlet, they could actually use low tempo or down tempo or chill out music mm -hmm. combined with a vanilla fragrance. And what vanilla does, it has a calming effect, so it slows people down. Mm. If you had an environment where you wanted to have a, a higher throughput of customers, then you'd use more upbeat music, maybe techno or electronica. Mm. 
coupled with a grapefruit or a citrus based um, fragrance to stimulate people because that's the way the, the human body responds to the different senses in this way. I see, so you can control either higher arousal in the customer or even lower arousal. I want to also ask you Simon, are you pumping out these fragrances not just inside the store but also outside the store? So for example I'm walking down the mall and suddenly I can smell mm, baking bread which is actually being pumped outside of the bakery and will draw me to that store. Are you doing that too? That could be done. We're we're waiting for retailers really to catch on to the idea that they can extend the experience of their outlet. So this would be the next stage. Where we are at the moment is trying to get people to understand what they can be doing yeah. in their store, making that a more conducive environment, and make people spend longer in there. Um, there's a supermarket study, for example, that used uh, compared low tempo music with high tempo music and playing no music to see the effect on sales. And what they found was that playing low tempo music increased sales by 38%. That's incredible. Just calms people down, gets them to just spend longer. Relax, become more impulsive. Aisles. Fascinating stuff. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you. Simon Fourfield, CEO of Equal Strategy. And that brings us to the end of Market Watch.